Greetings, it's Christine the Arctic Spider. I'm finally back. I have been so busy with laboratory work and papers. Uh, so I only have one more paper to write and then I'm back to normal activities. Um, but this time I have decided trying out a bit makeup, which I usually don't, which is a big, big deal. Uh, the goal is to look really dead, <laughs> like a old corpse. So um, today I wanted to do the goth tag. Um, I've been wanting to do this tag, but at the same time I've been like hesitating uh, because of the questions. But I will do it now. So. You will finally see me do this video. Shall we begin? How long have you been goth? Around less than two years. Soon two years in um, August, September, then I will be two years. Um, I think I have researched and educated myself really quickly or from finding bands really quickly uh, knowing about the subculture really quickly it is because i had this drive to know so i think i know a lot about the gothic subculture in less than a year i did a lot um in less than a year, I knew around 200 goth bands already, so <laughs> I spent lots of time to research, so. How were you introduced to goth? The second question, of course. Um, goth music. I started to um, listen to more goth music including bands like Diorama. Uh, Dark Wave was the first like goth music that got me into it and then the more I researched I fell more into Death Rock and now I actually like Death Rock more than Dark Wave actually. So the goth music but it wasn't like the classical um I started liking them afterwards, so it was first like unknown bands, and no wonder I like finding more bands. So yeah. Third question: What gothic gothic subgenre will you put yourself in? Trad and romantic, and uh, like new romantic wavish. Uh, even if I sometimes like cyber, I wouldn't like consider myself cyber goth because I have the stuff and I like the music, but at the same time it's not me in like me. I can wear it, but it's not something I will wear often. I prefer the trad. Um, what do you believe to be the basis of gothic subculture? <sighs> this is one of the questions I didn't want to answer. I believe it could be the mindset, but it could be the music, and it could be the attitude, how you see in, in form of beauty. Uh, but since I'm a music junkie, I should answer music. But I don't really know because music was the thing that started, kind of. Uh, I will say mindset because not all goth like traditional goth music, so yes, mindset. <laughs> Fifth question What do you dislike about being goth? Mm. Uh, 
I don't really know. I don't dislike anything. Uh, okay. Um, what do your parents parents think of it? Okay, as long as I am not over the top. Uh, next question: Eyebrows or no eyebrows? Eyebrows. Um. <laughs> uh, why? Because of biological reason. We have our eyebrows there for a reason. They're there for protecting our eyes. Okay. Um. What is your favorite band? Two bands that are tying, which is Community FK and Cinema Strange. I love both bands. They are like. Amazing! Ah. Mm. My opinion on Marilyn Manson. Okay. I have only liked one song of Marilyn Manson, and that's a cover, which is Tainted Love. I can see why people like him, but for me personally, no. Okay, I have indirectly answered this last question. What were my baby bad days like? Well, I don't consider me having baby bad days because I was so quick with everything. I was researching everything and within a month or so I already knew about um, the main bands and what goth subculture was about and I researched and researched and researched so kind of my baby bad days was just researching um, and kind of getting rid of the baby bad Stample as quickly as possible. <laughs> so my baby bad days were actually getting rid of the baby bad stample. So yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna stop this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.